Science Place here in Tyler is always looking for fun ways to fuel curiosity and learning in East Texas kids. They offer a number of exhibits and activities that range from the Imagination Playground to the 3D Cinesphere. But today they have a special experiment planned for us that even you at home are able to try when you get some free time. And this morning we're joined by Carol and Aaron with the Discovery Science Place. Thanks for waking up with this this uh, with us this morning. So what are we going to do here? What's our experiment today? So today we're going to do a little chemical reaction and oh. with things you have probably at home in your pantry or things mm -hmm. you can get at the grocery store. What I like about this is it can be, you can start small and then you can experiment and make it bigger. Um, all, the worst you might have is a balloon that pops or a little uh -oh. vinegar that gets on you. So, But that's why we have... <laughs> goggles for your yes. protection and kids if you use any household Better, uh, items at home yeah you want to put yours on <laughs> please ask permi permission first before uh borrowing any household items sweet all right so what are we doing here so we just have empty water bottles uh -huh. inside is vinegar not water so that's what's going to help us our two reactants are going to be the vinegar okay. and then which you just use a funnel to pour it in and then baking soda in the balloon. So this mm -hmm. is like I, where I said you could start with a little bit. We're starting with a pretty good amount. We want really that balloon to blow up and to have a lot of fun with it. So once you fill it with baking soda, you have one right there. Sweet. Aaron has one. The um, trick is to really get the balloon wrapped around the mouth of the water bottle okay. because you want to keep everything contained <laughs> within this little system here. So once you have it wrapped with really well, the baking soda is loaded inside, so you're going to let it fall out of the balloon and watch what happens. My balloon starts blowing up right away. Nice. You've got a lot of fizzing, all the evidence of a chemical reaction happening, Ooh. the bubbles and the gas. And do you feel anything about the temperature of your water bottle, Chandler? Uh, it got a lot colder. It got a lot colder. That's called an endothermic reaction. So the heat is nice. being absorbed. And the new substance that's being formed inside is carbon dioxide or CO2 mm -hmm. um, gas. Mm -hmm. And that's what's blowing up the balloon. Man, it expanded very quickly, <laughs> too, within the balloon. How about that? Yeah, and it's mine's still going. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Aaron. And while we're at it and we're getting these to uh, continue to expand, can you tell me a little more about the new exhibit at the Discovery Science Place? Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, we just opened on Friday the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle exhibit, oh. and it runs through May 21st. Nice. And that's why we have these colors here for the Teenage Turtles. It's going to be the blue, purple, uh, red, and orange. And so come by and see us at Discovery Science Place. Nice. If we have a second, I've Go got ahead, a really please. big one. Uh -oh. We'd like to end with uh, the super balloon. The super balloon. <laughs> How about that? Whoops. And it's leaking out a little on the... Well, nice. this is the great thing about science. Sometimes it really blows up well, and right? sometimes you get to try it more than once. And so the, same the thing baking soda stuck too. in. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Your predictions aren't all. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, there's definitely well, yeah. a lot of variability that goes into it. And how about that? There we go. So this one, this balloon, the baking soda is stuck in the neck a little uh -huh. bit. So if we could. But it's really cold if you feel yeah, it. it oh, yes, it is. That's a lot colder than any of the other balloons. Yes, and it will get a lot bigger if I get all that baking soda down. Nice. Awesome. So we do fun things like this all the time. We have spring break camp, summer camp, um, and like Aaron said, the Ninja Turtles. So we're always looking to ignite young minds to be curious about Sweet. science. Well, thank you all so much, Carol and Aaron, for waking <laughs> up and joining us this morning with this segment. As a reminder, you can check out the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle exhibit uh, between now and May 30 or May 20. 20 May 21st. Yes. Okay, May 21st. That's awesome. So again, from now until May 21st, you can check out the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles exhibit. And Carol, Aaron, thank you again so much for <laughs> joining us this morning, waking up with us, and showing us this cool experiment. That's Thanks a lot for of fun. Having us. Absolutely. Yeah.